Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into the fascinating realm of extremophiles and their incredible adaptations to some of the harshest environments on Earth. From scorching deserts to freezing depths, these microorganisms have mastered the art of survival against all odds. So, let's get started. What is adaptation? Adaption refers to the process through which organisms undergo structural, physiological, or behavioral changes over generations in response to their environment. These changes enhance an organism's ability to survive and reproduce in its specific surroundings. Adaptations are driven by natural selection, ensuring that traits beneficial for an organism's survival and reproduction become more common within a population over time. What are the common survival strategies of all kind extremophiles? Membrane stability. Extremophiles have evolved unique lipid compositions in their cell membranes that provide stability and protection. These adaptations prevent the cell membranes from becoming too fluid, rigid, or permeable under extreme conditions. Osmotic regulation. Most of the extremophiles have mechanisms to regulate their internal osmotic balance, ensuring that they can maintain water levels and prevent excessive dehydration or water influx. DNA repair mechanisms. Extremophiles often possess robust DNA repair mechanisms that help counteract damage caused by extreme temperatures, radiation, or other stressors. These mechanisms help maintain genetic integrity and prevent mutations. Efficient nutrient uptake. Extremophiles have adapted mechanisms to efficiently acquire nutrients from their environments, which may be limited or challenging to obtain due to extreme conditions. Cellular dormancy. Extremophiles often enter a state of dormancy or reduced metabolic activity when conditions become unfavorable. This allows them to wait out harsh periods and resume activity when conditions improve. Specialized genetic regulation. Some extremophiles have evolved unique genetic regulatory mechanisms that allow them to quickly respond to changes in extreme conditions, activating or deactivating specific genes as needed. Symbiotic relationships. Extremophiles sometimes form symbiotic relationships with other organisms, such as plants or animals, which can provide them with protection, nutrients, or a more hospitable microenvironment. Biofilm formation. Many extremophiles can form biofilms, which are communities of microorganisms held together by extracellular substances. Biofilms provide protection, help retain moisture, and create microenvironments that support survival. Polyextremophily. Some extremophiles exhibit adaptations to multiple extreme conditions. For example, a polyextremophile might thrive in both high temperatures and high salinity. What are the environment-specific survival strategies of extremophiles? It refers to the specialized adaptations and mechanisms that microorganisms have developed to thrive in extreme environments. How does thermophiles manage to survive in extreme hot conditions? Heat-resistant enzymes. Thermophiles produce enzymes that are stable and functional at high temperatures. These enzymes are essential for various cellular processes, including metabolism and DNA replication. Thermally stable proteins. Proteins in thermophiles have unique structures that prevent them from denaturing in high temperatures. These proteins often have stronger hydrogen bonds and more rigid structures, allowing them to maintain their functionality under extreme heat. Chaperone proteins. Thermophiles produce special proteins called chaperones that help other proteins fold correctly and maintain their structure under heat stress. Chaperones prevent protein denaturation and aggregation, ensuring cellular processes continue to function properly. DNA stability. The DNA of thermophiles is more stable at high temperatures due to specific DNA binding proteins and repair mechanisms. This helps protect the genetic information from heat-induced damage. Heat shock response. When thermophiles are exposed to sudden increases in temperature, they activate a heat shock response. This response involves the upregulation of heat shock proteins that aid in protein folding and repair, helping the organism cope with thermal stress. Low water activity. Many thermophiles have evolved to survive in environments with low water activity, which means they can endure conditions where water is scarce. This helps them prevent desiccation and maintain their cellular integrity. How does psychrophiles manage to survive in extreme cold conditions? Antifreeze proteins. One of the most crucial adaptations of psychrophiles is the production of antifreeze proteins. These proteins bind to ice crystals and inhibit their growth, preventing the formation of large ice crystals that could damage cell structures. Cold active enzymes. Enzymes produced by psychrophiles are optimized to function at cold temperatures. These enzymes have higher catalytic rates at lower temperatures, ensuring that metabolic processes can proceed efficiently in cold environments. High unsaturated fatty acids. The lipids in cell membranes of psychrophiles often contain high levels of unsaturated fatty acids. These fatty acids prevent the membranes from solidifying in cold temperatures, allowing them to maintain their fluidity. Production of cryoprotectants. Some psychrophiles produce cryoprotectant molecules that help prevent cellular dehydration and damage caused by freezing. 
These molecules act as natural antifreezes and protect cells from the stress of freezing and thawing. Quorum Sensing Some psychrophiles use quorum sensing, a communication system that allows them to coordinate their activities as a group. This can be advantageous in cold environments where resources are limited and cooperation can enhance survival. How does acidophiles manage to survive in extreme acidic conditions? pH Regulation Mechanisms Acidophiles have specialized mechanisms to regulate their internal pH within a narrow range, despite the extreme acidity of their surroundings. This often involves the active transport of protons, H ions, across the cell membrane to maintain a neutral or slightly alkaline internal pH. Efficient Acid Resistance Systems Acidophiles possess acid resistance systems that help protect cellular components from acid damage. Intracellular Buffering some acidophiles accumulate specific ions, such as potassium ions, within their cells to help buffer against changes in pH. These ions can counteract the acidic effects and maintain a more stable internal pH. Production of acid-resistant enzymes. Acidophiles produce enzymes that are stable and functional in highly acidic environments. These enzymes often have modified structures that make them less susceptible to denaturation by low pH. Sulfur metabolism. Many acidophiles utilize sulfur compounds as an energy source, contributing to the acidity of their environment. They've evolved pathways to oxidize sulfur and generate energy, allowing them to thrive in acidic environments rich in sulfur compounds. How does alkaliphiles manage to survive in extreme alkaline conditions? pH regulation mechanisms. Alkaliphiles have specialized mechanisms to regulate their internal pH within a narrow range, despite the extreme alkalinity of their surroundings. They often use mechanisms to actively expel excess protons, H ions, from their cells, maintaining a more neutral internal pH. Alkaline resistant proteins. Alkaliphiles produce proteins that are resistant to denaturation at high pH levels. These proteins have structures that remain stable even in alkaline conditions, ensuring that cellular processes can continue. Sodium ion transport. Many alkaliphiles use sodium ions to drive crucial cellular processes. This strategy allows them to maintain a balance between internal and external ion concentrations in high pH environments. Proton pumping ATP acids. Alkaliphiles often have specialized ATP ACE enzymes that actively transport protons out of the cell. This process contributes to pH regulation and helps counteract the influx of protons from the alkaline environment. Amino acid adaptation. Alkaliphiles often use amino acids with basic side chains to help buffer the internal pH and stabilize cellular components in alkaline environments. pH-dependent gene expression. Some alkaliphiles regulate gene expression in response to changes in pH. This allows them to produce the necessary proteins and enzymes to adapt to the specific challenges posed by alkaline conditions. How does halophils manage to survive in extreme salty conditions? Osmotic regulation. One of the key challenges for halophils is maintaining a balance of water and ions within their cells. This strategy allows them to maintain a balance between internal and external ion concentrations in high pH environments. Salt in strategy. Some halophils use a salt in strategy, actively accumulating salts within their cells to match the external environment. This reduces the osmotic gradient between the cell and its surroundings, helping to retain water. Compatible solutes. Halophils produce compatible solutes, also known as osmoprotectants, which are small molecules that help balance osmotic pressure. These solutes accumulate in the cell and counteract the dehydrating effects of high salt concentrations. Modified enzymes. Enzymes in halophils are adapted to function in high salt environments. These enzymes often have unique structures and amino acid compositions that maintain their functionality under salty conditions. Ion pumps and transporters. Halophils possess specialized ion pumps and transporters that actively regulate the movement of ions in and out of the cell. This helps maintain ion balance and prevent toxic ion buildup. Ectuan and hydroxyectuan. These are examples of compatible solutes produced by some halophils. They help stabilize cellular structures and protect against protein denaturation caused by high salt concentrations. Halophilic environments. Some halophils create their own salt-rich environments by secreting extracellular polymeric substances. This can form a microenvironment around the cells that is less salty, allowing them to maintain better hydration. How does barophiles manage to survive in extreme pressure conditions? Pressure-adapted enzymes. Barophiles produce enzymes that remain functional under high pressures. These enzymes often have structural features that make them more stable and resistant to pressure-induced denaturation. High-density cytoplasm. Barophiles may have cytoplasm with a higher density, which can help maintain cell shape and integrity under pressure. This can prevent cell shrinkage and deformation caused by increased pressure. 
Pressure-resistant protein structures. Barophiles may have proteins with reinforced structures that resist deformation under pressure. This helps maintain the shape and function of crucial cellular components. Membrane reinforcement. Some barophiles produce proteins that bind to cell membranes and reinforce them, providing additional stability and protection against pressure-induced damage. Specialized adaptations. Some barophiles have evolved specialized adaptations, such as unique ion channels and transporters, that help regulate cellular processes under extreme pressure. Pressure-dependent gene expression. Barophiles may regulate gene expression in response to changes in pressure. This allows them to produce the necessary proteins and enzymes to adapt to the specific challenges posed by high-pressure environments. How does xerophiles manage to survive in extreme dry conditions? Desiccation tolerance. Xerophiles have developed mechanisms to tolerate extreme desiccation, or drying out. They can enter a state of dormancy or reduced metabolic activity when water is scarce, allowing them to conserve resources and withstand periods of dryness. Compatible solutes. Xerophiles produce compatible solutes, also known as osmoprotectants, which help maintain cellular structures and prevent damage during dehydration. Drying resistant proteins. Xerophiles produce proteins that are resistant to denaturation and degradation caused by drying. Cellular dehydration strategies. Xerophiles can undergo cellular dehydration without damaging their cellular structures. They have specialized mechanisms to protect cellular components during desiccation and rehydration. DNA protection. Some xerophiles have proteins that specifically protect DNA from damage caused by desiccation. Antioxidant systems. Xerophiles often possess efficient antioxidant systems that help protect cellular components from oxidative damage during dehydration and rehydration. Conclusion. From blistering heat to freezing cold, acidic to alkaline, and deep sea pressure to radioactive landscapes, these microorganisms have rewritten the rules of survival. Thanks for joining us on this exciting exploration. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and share with your fellow science enthusiasts.